The head is three equal units. The chin to the bottom of the nose, the bottom of the nose to the brow, and then finally the brow to the hairline. So not the top of the head, but the hairline, so where our hair would start. One thing that I really caution with students is to not take the head and turn it again to a math problem, to not be like, hey, this is divided by two. Where is the third? Let me get my calculator. No, 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 none of that. Keep it real casual. And the real casual way, I'm gonna draw a mini one here, would be ball, where the figure's looking, a little bit lower than half that line. Duplicate it. That gives us a nice sense of how far down that jaw could go. Here's a little neck. From the chin to the top of the head, about halfway are the eyes. And the reason we like that line is because we would now say that from the chin to the nose, the chin to the brow, the brow to about the hairline, that would be a great way to divide the head. So these would be the things that help us. The eyes are about halfway on the head. The head is about three units, right? Three equal parts across chin to nose, nose to brow, brow to eye line. Um, and then finally, even that idea of shaving the side of the head, cutting it a little bit flat will give us some help.